Hello here by Arctic Lights Adventures. Hello from Alaska. This video I will take you to the Alaskan part of the of this year's Yukon Quest sled dog race. And if you're interested in it, then stay tuned. Today is February 11th when I'm recording this and today is actually the start of the Canadian Yukon Quest. The Alaskan part of that, the Alaskan Yukon Quest started one week ago and this is what I will show you in this video. Before we get into the race, I want to mention all the volunteers without the race would not be possible. Ordinary people out of the community who help marking the trails, who support the checkpoints, who cook for the mushers. This really is a community event and that makes it special. The start line was at the Morris Thompson Cultural and Visitor Center here in Fairbanks. And we went there. The race took place in three categories. A 550 mile race, a 300 mile race and an 80 mile race. The 550 and 300 mile races started in the morning while the 80 mile race started in the afternoon. I will not show all of the mushers, that would take way, way, way too long. But this is bib number one and the bib numbers are drawn like uh, several days before the race starts. Number one is Brent Sass from Wild and Free Mushing. For the first miles, the mushers are pulling a second sled and if you want to ride as a passenger, you can bid for it as a fundraiser. Let's look at the route. All the mushers started in Fairbanks and then went to the first checkpoint point in Two Rivers, where the 80 mile race turned around and went back to Fairbanks. The 550 and the 300 mile race went to 101, then to Central, and then to Circle at the Yukon River. Here they turned around and went back to Central where the 300 mile race ended. The 550 mile race went back to 101 and to Two Rivers. And from there it went on the red route to Nenana and then to Fairbanks where it ended at the pump house. But we will stay a little bit here in Pleasant Valley and look at the checkpoint. Two mushers just went through but Good the luck. majority of the 550 and 300 mile mushers decided to stay at the checkpoint here in Pleasant Valley. Which means we should probably go there and have a look at it. Good luck, have fun! Yeah. 
The checkpoint was at the Pleasant Valley Community Center. This is all supplies and straw for the mushers. When they arrive at the checkpoint, they have to present some mandatory gear, like for example booties, like the vet book, which means it's the health certificate. They have to provide an X, they have to show that they have a sleeping bag, enough food, the GPS tracker, an X, <coughs> snowshoes. And all this will be checked when they arrive at the checkpoint and when they check in. This is exactly what happens here. Once they are done, they ask where they can park the team to rest. They say how long they want to approximately stay and go and rest the team if they decide to stay. <laughs> they make hot water to feed the dogs. And maybe even try to get some rest themselves which I don't think they get a lot. <laughs> During the night, the mushers from the 80 mile race arrived at the checkpoint and they had their six hours mandatory stop here, where they also did the time differential from the start. That night was pretty busy here in Two Rivers. We really wanted to go on the Steese Highway, wanted to go to 101 Central and Circle, but it absolutely did not work out with our schedule. But we checked the tracker and we saw that the first musher, actually it is Brent Sass with bib number one, came back to Tina Hot Springs Road. That was on Tuesday. He's on the way back to the checkpoint in Two Rivers. Again, the race started on Saturday and now it's Tuesday and the mushers are on the way back to Two Rivers and then Nenana. At each checkpoint there is a crew of veterinarians and vet students. They make sure the dogs are okay they check whether they are all well hydrated, whether they are all healthy and whether they can continue. The mushers start out with a team of 8 to 14 dogs and at each checkpoint they can not exchange dogs but they can decide to drop some. And then also at the checkpoints they can discuss with the vets about um, health issues of the dogs and decide whether it's okay to run them a little bit longer or whether some dogs should maybe take a ride in the dog truck. Usually the mushers are pretty good in taking care of the dogs. I mean it's a team, they love their animals. Here in Two Rivers they had another four hours mandatory stop before they were allowed to continue to Nenana.
Otherwise, orthopedic, okay, we feel nice. really good and Perfect. everything. So just that possible. And possible. So, um, do you want? I don't know if you want any for the dough for them or anything. And then, after four days, eight hours, and forty-five minutes, if I am not wrong, the first musher came to the finish line. The finish line was at China Pump House here in Fairbanks. And it was <laughs> bib number one, Brand Sass from Wild and Free Mushing. It's always such an emotional moment. I always have tears in my eyes seeing them coming to the finish line. It was just amazing. Look at that team. Now they got some well-deserved treats. I hope you like this video. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I'm doing videos here on my channel on a not so frequent base, so therefore the YouTube algorithms will not, most likely not um, suggest these videos to you. So if you are interested in it, you really need to hit the subscribe button and the little bell, activate the little bell to get notifications. And if you know somebody who would be interested in these videos, please tell them to subscribe and hit the bell as well so they know when there is a new video. I hope you like this. If you have questions regarding this um, race or uh, mushing or sled dogs, please drop me a comment and I'll try to answer it. And if I don't know the answer, I'll try to get the answer from an expert. Anyhow, I, all that's left for me to say is stay healthy, stay safe, and see you next time. Bye.